Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, sampler review series, please. I be do for the water. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, eh, I'm gonna talk about stuff. I'm gonna let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not gonna lie. I was in the process of reviewing this particular item just before this. And I ended up having a whole coffin fit and having to restart over. So, we'll we'll get into that. Uh, but anyway, folks, super simple format. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to try out food in or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, <clears throat> yeah, I'm around about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, I'm wearing super cool shirts. I always like to highlight a super cool shirt. Super cool shirt am I wearing today? Well, folks, it's boom! It's my... My brand spanking new Red Star shirt, which, did see, you gotta spell it the right way, otherwise you're gonna get to a different band. If you're not familiar with the band Red Star, uh, that's okay, neither was I. I, <clears throat> I guess they started up in 2020, uh, out of California, although I guess a couple of the members actually have some roots in, uh, the Midwest area, which is cool, you know, I was able to talk to them a little bit about that. And, uh, I happen to see them, they open up for a band that I like called Killer's Confession, they were one of the opening acts, and they really blew me away. Got to hang out with them a little bit after the set. They were super cool guys. I was like, I definitely got to get some merch from them, because they're just fucking awesome, and I like their music a lot. And I was just super down with it. Uh, they're part of what I would consider sort of like the new metal revival movement. Like, new metal, you know, it, it it's definitely past its heyday, to be fair. But for a long time after its heyday, it was kind of just considered, sort of laughed off as being sort of a joke, just this thing that happened in the late 90s and early 2000s. But in, like, the last, like, few years, the time I'm doing this, there's been a little bit of a bump to, to kind of bring it back, you know? And you're seeing some of the some of the old school bands have been coming back into it. Of course, the big name ones like Korn and Slipknot and stuff, they never really went anywhere. But it's great now we're getting to see, like, new bands come into it, put their spin on it, and Red Star falls into that. I really enjoyed their stuff, so much so I actually got a couple of videos of their performance. They're on this channel as well, just in case you're interested you want to give them a check out. But anyway, <clears throat> what am I trying for you today, folks? What caused me to have a fucking coughing fit? Well, uh, I'm a little bit under the weather, you might be able to tell. Not, not too bad, but like, I definitely have a bug or a cold or something. And I decided I'm going to cheer myself up, I'm going to go out to one of my favorite places in the entire state. It's a place called Boom Mitsua! You can see it, it's right there. Mitsuo Marketplace, <clears throat> which is a Japanese marketplace, you know, maybe about a half hour away from here, so not too bad. And I love coming to this spot. I've been coming to this place since I was in high school. I've reviewed a number of stuff from Mitsuo Marketplace on the show, so if you're interested, go look up that stuff. But, uh, yeah, I love going to this place. They've got, like, a grocery section, a food court, a few different shops and stuff. And one of the things I always like to do when I'm there is get some interesting snacks and stuff. So, today we've got Mitsua Nihon Kudaman Gotari Golden Peach Soda, which, and I think on the receipt it calls it, like, Golden Yellow Peach Soda. So, yes, let's get a, can we get a thing? Because we, we have to get a thing. Ha 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 So let's give it a go. And yes, I did, like, it's already open. I went over there, I got one sip of this in my throat, and because I'm so congested... My body was just like, I'm just going to fucking spasm out and lose my shit. So hopefully that doesn't happen again this time. Let's give it a try. Ooh. Hey, I didn't die this time. Neat. Um, okay. Okay, I'm down with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've tried some months back, I went over there, I reviewed some, uh, some, I think it was like pink peach soda from Mitsua, and I would love it, it's too bad, like, they don't have, like, the, the pink one there, I would love to do, like, a comparison review to see how much difference there is between the two, but, uh, and unfortunately I just can't really remember that distinctly, but I do remember that I liked it, like, I remember that I liked it as a peach soda. Peach soda, interestingly, here in the United States, despite the fact that peaches are pretty prominent, I mean, we had a whole fucking song about it in the 90s, 
they've never really caught on that much as a soda. Like, they do exist, for sure, and occasionally you'll even have, like, Crush will go over there and do one. I think maybe even Sunkist has done one. But it's never really caught on as, like, a fruit flavor here in America for, like, the, the standard soda stuff. Um, and it's a shame, because when it's done well, it's really good. And in this case, it's very good. The thing with peach as a flavor is that if you do too much with it, at least for me, it becomes abrasive. Like, I like peach as a flavor. I think it's a very good flavor. But it's it's one of those flavors kind of like mango, where it's like it's good to a point. And once you get past that point, it becomes less good, and it becomes, again, just kind of abrasive. Like, it's just too much. With this, that's not the case. It's very, it's flavorful, but it's light enough that the flavor is just carrying through without, again, getting to that abrasive point, to that point where it's almost like just kind of like sickly sweet. Um, it's a very nice and smooth beverage, despite the fact that it nearly killed me. Yeah, it drinks really nicely. And this compared to, say, like a, like a peach ramenet, which if you're not familiar, ramenet is like a very famous soda within kind of like the Japanese culture and everything like that. Uh, I've reviewed a couple of ramenes from it. Ramenes tend to be a little bit lighter in the carbonation and the flavor, whereas with like the Mitsuha stuff, at least the things that I've had, they seem to be closer to kind of like Western soda as far as, you know, the level of carbonation and flavor that they put into it. Um, so it's nice. I like it a lot. And mind you, I like ramen too. You know, it just depends on the mood that I'm in. But... Yeah, it has a nice peach flavor, no, like, chemically aftertaste or anything. It's good. It almost has, and I'm guessing this is the golden aspect to it, it almost has, like, a slight citrus flavor, just at the very end. Like, there's almost a little bit of an acidity to it, and that's kind of nice, actually. I like that, that aspect, because it kind of cuts through a little bit, especially for me right now, since, like I said, I'm dealing with congestion and stuff. It's, it's nice to have that little extra oomph. But yeah, I really like this. I think, again, I don't have them for direct comparison, but I do remember enjoying the, the pink peach soda that I had from them. But I think that, I mean, if I had them next to each other, I could tell you specifically, but I think I'd probably prefer this one over that one. I like pretty much everything about it. It's flavorful. The peach aspect works really nicely. I like, again, that it's got a little bite to it, just a little bit, you know. It's a little something extra, plus it creates sort of a little contrast between the sweetness and, and the bitiness. I, yeah, man, I'm down with it. I, I didn't think that I wouldn't be, because I pretty much always enjoyed the Mitsuha products and stuff like that, you know. But it is nice, and it's, it's something where, this is one of those things where it's like, you know, obviously you would have to, excuse me, you know, repackage it and rebrand it. But this is like a peach soda that I could 100% see being a thing here in the United States, like... I can see it, because it's, it's got that proper level of sort of Western soda kind of flavor, and then you just have a delicious peach flavor to go with it. But I like it quite a bit. Anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Money meant for us a month. Spend this rest of your year. Folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly, hopefully not sick-tastic rest of your life. I hate being sick so much. Like, And I'm fortunate, too, because I don't get sick that often. But man, when I get sick, like it just, it hits and it sticks around for a while. And I'm like on, not quite a week yet, but I've, I've been sick for a few days. And it's like, I just want to not be sick now. I want to be done with the congestion. But anyway, final two things. Uh, number one, try to bring some pause. Oh, wait, B -b 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 I forgot because my brain is addled with sickness. Two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Sorry, doing things out of order. Would I get it again? Absolutely. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. I think that if you're fortunate enough where, you know, you have maybe like a, you know, Japanese marketplace kind of area of your own, uh, you know, if you're in Illinois, well, you have one for sure. Or maybe you have like an import store or something like that. Absolutely give this stuff a shot. For me personally, like I said, I really like it. And I think this would be, if I were to go over there and have a peach soda for America, this would be the what I would build off of because it's really tasty and it, it hits for me very nicely. Um... And if I'm recommending it, I mean, I wouldn't go hugely out of my way for it, you know, but like, again, if you have an import store or something like that, something where you can go over there, 
you know, get yourself a variety of snacks and things like that to sort of, you know, bolster your cupboards a little bit with some interesting stuff. I would definitely add this to that list. But, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not as possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But, what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks, and you're trying not to be an asshole. Well, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole, especially when you're feeling under the weather. And I specifically came to Mitzvah because I was like, man, I'm feeling crappy. I want to go to the to the market, or I want to go to the food court. I want to get myself some udon noodles because, man, I've just been craving them. And I made the mistake of, like, going kind of around lunch. You know, I thought I was far enough away from it that it would be okay. Wasn't giant line, and I was like, all right, I'll go review some stuff and I'll come back. <sighs> when we run into situations in our life that are stressful, frustrating, etc., it's important we go over there, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're going to do a YouTube review show where you sometimes go over there and review stuff in parking lots, and because there was just no parking anywhere realistic, uh, you know, you had to park a little bit closer to the main building than you normally would have when you knew you were going to be doing reviews, and now maybe there's this nice Hispanic family that are eating green tea ice cream in the car directly in front of you and looking at you while you're doing the review. And to them, if they happen to ever see my review, your family is adorable, and I'm glad that you're enjoying the, the, uh, that's not green tea ice cream. It's, uh, is it like mochi ice cream? I forget, man, but again, my brain is just dead. Or conversely, maybe go over there and uh, if you're going to start up your own YouTube channel, you know, you can maybe do something else besides food reviews. It's, it's a very oversaturated market right now. <laughs> I don't need any more competition. That's not true. Do, do, man, do some stuff and do it better than I do. Bye.